Hi, welcome to Potato Thigh Reviews. Today I have the pleasure of talking about the Jashelli JNOG3 DAC or what I'll refer to as J3. I've heard about Jashelli Labs for a while and I visited their display room at Expona 2023 where they had some lovely headphone amplifiers and DACs. I consider audio gear building blocks for adults, meaning we piece together each component until we construct our ultimate musical fortress. In this array of equipment, I believe a DAC plays a crucial role as it provides one of the simplest and most effective ways to enhance the sound quality from a streamer, laptop, or CD transport. When visiting Jashelli's website, you'll basically be able to build your J3 to suit your liking. The price starts at $530 and increases as you add different components. There are four LED ring colors, optional USB module, op amps, case type, and glass color options. The J3 is a simple socket DAC which utilizes two different AKM chips. There is something inside the DAC called an op amp. In simple terms, an op amp takes a small input voltage and makes it bigger at the output. The op amp of the J3 can be swapped out, which is why it's considered a socketed DAC. I had no idea what the difference was between the sound signature of each op amp, so I sent Jashelli an email and this was their response. TIOPA1656, very neutral, solid separation and room filling. Burson V7 Vivid Pro, quiet background, good separation and clarity. Burson V7 Classic Pro, warm tube-like sound, soft on the uppers. Sparkos SS3602, hard hitting, brings up the lows, Base is enhanced. Sparkos SS2590, hard hitting, brings up the lows and mid range, brings the bass forward, greatest separation of all the choices. Staccato, detailed, very nice separation, and sound stage. The J3 is a very modest, however, well designed DAC. There is no remote, Bluetooth, or unnecessary connections. There is a power button and additional selectors for two Toslink or optical, two coaxial, and the USB input. The power button also serves as the switch for changing the color of the subtle internal LED. Pressing the input selector for each individual input changes the output volume, which are low, medium and full. I used the medium selection, however, there was no alteration in the sound quality between the three output volumes. A standout feature of the J3 is the set of optical and coaxial connectors on the front of the DAC. This is very convenient when swapping out gear for brief periods as you don't have to reach around the back and unintentionally untangle other connections. Jashelli Labs has a lot of color choices for the transparent glass and aluminum case. Actually, this DAC was made to imitate the Potato Fi logo. My J3 has the aluminum case and there is a variety of wood selections to choose from. There is other op amp choices which are not listed on the website. My J3 came with the OPA 1656 op amp and I also ordered the Burson V7 Classic which came in a small plastic case. Changing the op amp was easy and took about 20 minutes. I placed the DAC on a soft cloth to prevent any scratches and with two hex keys, specifically 2mm and 2.5mm, I was able to swap op amps without damaging anything. Jashelli has a very thorough step-by-step -step video with instructions, which I'll add in the description below. The J3 has balanced XLR output and unbalanced RCA, or what is sometimes called single-ended output. 
The Balanced XLR uses two op amps while the RCA utilizes one op amp. Something worth mentioning, the XLR and RCA outputs can operate simultaneously so you can use both at once. When using the J3, I use the OPA 1656 and the Burson V7 Classic with the RCA output. Personally, I did favor the Burson V7 Classic as the final sound produced had better low notes with an overall improved dynamic sound and clarity. Also, the V7 Classic enhanced the sparkle in my SVS Ultra Evolution bookshelf speakers. Overall sound of the J3 can be described as natural and very detailed, with wide and high soundstage. A major pro is I can listen to music with this DAC for hours without any fatigue. When compared to the recently released SMSL D0100 Pro, which I used in my Weem Ultra review, the J3 has better instrument separation and layering of vocals. I previously owned the Topping E70 Velvet, which has a smooth sound signature. However, it was very difficult to navigate its functions. If you're wondering, for my listening sessions, I would connect the Weem Pro via optical to the J3, and I interchange KEF, SVS, and Polk speakers, while for amplifiers, I used Arkham and Van Alstein. I would recommend the J3 for someone who wants a gorgeous device, which they can keep for a really long period. And then if they are interested in altering the sound, they can swap the op amp. Prior to owning the J3, I had limited knowledge about op amps and this DAC taught me a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm currently shopping for a new op amp and considering a Sparkos. And since I use the RCA output, I only require one op amp. I do believe this DAC is an excellent performer in its price category. Gishelli gets an A plus for their responsive customer service, which I highly recommend using for any additional information. Something hilarious I would like to share. There's a very popular overseas DAC brand who I email a couple of times about product info and they would not respond. However, choose to add me to their monthly newsletter. Gishelli has a bigger, more advanced DAC called the Daisy, which is available on their website. The J3 not only has an amazing intimate sound, it is stunningly crafted and the images on the website doesn't do it justice. To see more videos like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, cheers.